Hello and welcome to the Dwarf Sized Workshop. I started this project back in June 2018. The table on our roof terrace broke down and we needed a new one. I hauled in some lumber from the wood store that was too big for the table saw and started cutting it down by hand into rough chunks. After the manual cuts, the pieces were small enough to fit on the table saw, where I cut them to about their final size, leaving a bit of extra room for errors. The lumber had a lot of production marks, so I had to plane down all sides on all parts. I used the thickness planer for this, which might be a cheap way to get away with this. But seeing that I had only one evening per week to work on this after my day job, I went with whatever was the fastest method. The beams were now all smooth and ready to be resawn into their final thickness and into their final length. To avoid building a new table every year, I wanted a really sturdy base and for aesthetic reasons it should have no visible screws. So I went and started cutting mortises and tenons. Since this was a first for me, I tried to learn some techniques from other makers on YouTube upfront. I pre-cut the length of the tenons and then pre-trilled the mortises with a forced a bit. After that, it was still a lot of work chiseling away all the excess material. But in the end, all went pretty well. When working with mortises and tenons, it is important to prepare the edges with a marking knife before starting with the chisel. You can see that I did not know that when I started and I had a hard time either overshooting the edge or chiseling away too little material. I did a dry fit and everything fitted nicely together. The glue up then was pretty straightforward. I didn't want to skimp on the glue because it was going to be the only joining force. So I used a lot of it. Like a lot. Fast forward two years. It's the spring of the year 2020 and nobody is allowed to go outside. That can mean only one thing. It's time to finish that lounge table for our roof terrace that was sitting on my workbench for much too long. I took the material from a pile of wood that I salvaged some time ago, planed the parts all to the same thickness and glued them up as one board. I then scraped off the excess glue and cut straight edges with the crosscut slat on the table saw. This table is going to sit on the rooftop day and night for sunshine but also for rain and snow. So to prevent water from gathering on the tabletop, I left a small gap around all edges. This means I need another structure to connect the top to the table base. I'm using a simple half lap cross that connects to the table base with pocket screws. I prepared the cross beams in one part and cut the 45 degree angles with my mitre saw. Unfortunately, the mitre saw is not big enough, so I had to finish the cut by hand. I cut it in two parts, measured the width and height that the half laps needed to be and cut them out on the table saw. This went well, although the fit was a bit too tight, so I had to scrape off a bit material with a chisel.
With the use of my cheap no-name jig, I drilled the pocket holes. Since this structure is invisible beneath the tabletop, I had no problem with using screws to connect it to the tabletop and the table base. I rounded over all the edges of the table and finished it with a thick coat of protecting tongue oil. After two years, the table finally arrived at our patio. Now, let's hope it won't be another two years until the corresponding bench arrives. If you want to see that build, just subscribe to my channel and you'll get notified whenever I upload a new video. Thanks for watching, see you, bye bye!